everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Yes, you can make cards without needing a die cutting system. Stay tuned. Y'all know that on my channel, the use of machinery is very minimal. Every now and then, I'll use my cinch or I might use my Xyron sticker maker. But those machines just serve as a supplement to my ability to already be able to craft. I can still make the same item without that machine. So that was one of the main goals of my channel when I started it, was to be able to demonstrate how we can make beautiful items without relying on die cutting systems of any type. And I think that in the four years I've been on YouTube, I've managed to do just that. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. I really do appreciate it. Today we're going to make a very simple but sweet card and we don't need die cutting systems to be able to do it. We're going to rely on items we have in our stash to make those cards. So I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. Before we get started, I want to reassure everyone that I'm okay. Several of you left comments saying that my voice sounded a little groupy, and that is true. I film a lot of videos in advance so that if I need to take time off for any reason, I can without my channel suffering. My channel is my business, which is my income. So I try to diligently pre-plan so that if I need to take some time off and rest, I can, but I'll still be able to put out videos and I'll still be able to earn my income, which has been the case recently. I am on the other side of a very nasty little virus. It wasn't COVID. Um, I took multiple COVID tests. It wasn't COVID, but it was just something that knocked me off my feet for a few days. Luckily, I had videos already banked, so I was able to keep my channel going without you guys noticing any interruption. However, when I made the video showing how we can take those round tissue canisters and package them, quite a few of you noticed that my voice sounded a little shaky or that my voice was kind of croupy. Y'all, I am much better. I was actually down for quite a few days. I rested. I did everything that I needed to do to get my body back to normal. I gave my body the rest it needed. I didn't think about crafting. I didn't think about doing anything. I just rested. So if it sounds like my voice is going in and out, it is, but I will tell you this, I feel so much better than I felt over the past few days. And for those of you who are going to say, take all the rest and time you need, y'all I have, I'm good. I really am. I just have to get my voice back to where it was before, but I am back. And today we're going to make this really sweet card and I will be using some of my Project Life cards along with some pieces of ephemera to make it. But it is a very simple, simple card to be able to make. Y'all know my cards are usually very simple, but I try to make them a little bit special as well. And this one is a great little anytime card. This can go to anyone at any time. And this concept that I'm using, if you don't consider yourself a card maker, like me, I really don't consider myself a card designer. There are some great card designers out there. I don't consider myself to be a card designer, but I think I can do all right in creating a little layout that works for me and the person that I might be giving the card to. So if you don't consider yourself to be a card designer, it's okay to take an idea like this to build upon when you're making your particular card. So this card when finished is a five by seven. And here are the cards that I'm going to be using. These cards and envelopes were bought at Tuesday morning and you get eight cards. You get two of each color and you get the envelopes to go along with it. So we're going to use the white cards today. So there is a manila colored, a black, and then a natural craft color. We're going to use the white today. It is okay to make cards when you're able to find card bases that work for you. I don't always start my cards from scratch. Sometimes I will use pre-made bases, which is exactly what I'm going to do today. 
cards. I used my 3x4 Project Life cards and then I used the 4x6 Project Life card to give me the base. And then I took a Project Life card and just disassembled the part that I wanted to use on this to create this little flag here. And then I used some pieces of my ephemera to go ahead and decorate the card. I put a piece of ephemera on the back. When I make a card and gift it, very rarely do I actually um, put a stamp or anything on the back of the card. What I normally tend to do is I will go ahead and just put my mark on the card and I'll put 223. And that's all. But if you have a stamp and you like to stamp your cards, that's great. Most of the time when I make a card card and I'm sending it to someone, I really don't want the labels that I use on other projects to be so big and intrusive on the back. That's why I just go ahead and initial it and date it. So on the inside, I left this card completely blank so that you can do whatever it is you want to do with the card. But on the front, you can see just how sweet this little card is. And y'all, this is going to be so easy to make because we're going to start with one of those five by seven cards. Then I have some Project Life cards. And a lot of you have asked what Project Life cards are. Project Life cards are designed to help tell a life story in scrapbook format. But Project Life cards also have many other uses, as some of you know. I have used them for a variety of things. Typically, they come in two sizes, 3x4 and 4x6. The kits that I bought a while back had both sizes in them. So if you don't have Project Life cards, but you do have some cut-aparts, and the sheets are 4x6 or 3x4, or you can cut down just a plain scrapbook page to make a 4x6. You don't need Project Life cards to be able to do this craft, but that is what I'm starting with because I have a large inventory of Project Life cards, and I really want to start using them. I was using them a while back on the channel. Recently, I made some boxes for them, so they're back in my field of view. And that is what we're going to work on today. So I have these Project Life cards. These two are the two cards. I'm not sure which saying I'm going to take. But the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to decide what my layout is going to be. And I actually like that. But let's try this. And y'all, this is a process that I go through when I'm crafting. I actually just sit down and play with it. Don't worry about if you're using a Project Life card that has um, something on the front or something on the back. Because when you're crafting, you can use whatever it is you want to use. If you want to use lace on this, you can use lace on this. If you want to use rub-ons, you can use rub-ons. Whatever it is you want to use in your crafting is right for you. And one other thing that I meant to show you about the Project Life cards is that they do tend to be double-sided. So you have so many different options when you are working with them. So I think what I'm going to go with is my first choice. And I think I'm going to lay the green one down first to sort of break up the color. I'm going to bring in my tape runner and we're going to go ahead and add some tape to this piece and we're going to place it down. So we will take this piece and let's put that right there. Then I'm going to place down the green piece because I want to break up that brown look just a little bit. I still want to keep the continuity, but I want to break it up just a little bit. And that green does that. So I am just going to take some more tape. And I'm going to place this down. And I'm going to make sure that when I'm placing it down, I'm placing it down so that I go outside of the original mat. I want it to have that random feel to it. So now I'm going to take this tape and we're going to take this one 
and we're going to put that right there. And already I think that that's a really cute base for this. Now I have some pieces of ephemera and I just want to take these pieces and I'm going to place them down to see what type of a feeling I'm getting. And actually I do like that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my scissors and we're going to trim away this piece and then I'm just going to even it up here because I want to flag it just a little bit. And then I'm just going to round this end. And maybe I'll put that there. Y'all, I like that. I like how that is looking. What do you think? I'm going to go ahead and just trim out this lovely because I might work it in. So let's just go ahead and trim it out. And I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but I'm just going to have it handy because who knows, I might, but I don't like it there. So I think I'm going to leave this just as I have it right now and just sort of move everything up a little bit so that it's more symmetrical. Then I'm going to take my tape and let's just go ahead and start placing this down. So we're going to bring this down just a little bit. Then we'll take our birdhouse and we're going to move that birdhouse up. Take that, put it right there. Then I'll take that such fine and we're going to put it right there. But I think I'm going to bring it off the edge just a little bit. So let's go ahead and add some tape to the back. And we're going to place that right there. And I'm going to take my little bird and we're going to put him right there. So let's add some tape to him. And y'all, I used three Project Life cards and a few pieces of ephemera. And I created a really fun card that I think that anyone would be pleased to receive in the mail. So I think what I want to do is I want to find something for right here. For the longest time, the Dollar Tree that I visit most often didn't have these um, pearl sticker sheets or the jewel sticker sheets. And finally, they started carrying them. So I did get a few sheets of the different colors that they have. I'm going to go ahead and just take out a few because I have a little idea. So I think what I'm going to do is put one there. Put one here and I'm going to put a total of three. And let's put one here. And y'all, I am very pleased with how this turned out. I am going to flip it over and we're going to take the lovely that I cut out and just put it on the back. I am just going to add some tape and we're going to take this and place it right there. And I think that that looks absolutely fabulous. So I am just initialing and signing the back because if you watch this video until the end and you want these two cards, leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me which card is your favorite. That's all you have to do. 
I don't care if you're a subscriber to my channel. If you watch the video until the end and you are at least 18 years old, then you have earned the right to be able to participate in this giveaway. So if you like these cards and you'd like to have both along with envelopes, leave me a comment in the comment section below and tell me which one is your favorite. If you like both, you can say both, but please leave a comment using words to tell me which one is your favorite. Don't say number one and don't say number two because when I filter, I'm going to be filtering the comments based on actual phrases. So my favorite is the birdhouse or my favorite is the deer. Something like that, just so that I'll have word phrases to be able to filter. To participate in the giveaway, I need your comment to be left by 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, February 13th. Why 7 p.m. Eastern Time? Because the first three hours of my video's performance are critical in helping YouTube to determine how they will promote my video. If my videos have low engagement or low views during that first three hours, they are not going to promote that video. I know that this three hour window is not convenient for all of you and it won't be the way that I do all of my giveaways, but right now I truly am trying to target the first three hours because y'all that's critical. That is critical to the success of my channel and critical to my ability to be able to operate this business because that's what it is for me. And therefore I have to target those areas where I might need improvement or I might need help in getting me the visibility on YouTube that I need in order for my videos to actually earn income. So go ahead, leave me a comment in the comment section below on this video. Please check the description box for any clarification on the eligibility. Y'all, thank you so much for supporting my videos. Thank you so much for being so supportive and caring about what might be going on with me. I really do appreciate it. As always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.